Hi students, in my last video lecture, I already completed the detailed line by line explanation of the poem. So today, we are going to focus on the themes of the poem in details. So let's just begin. The theme of women and feminist can be found in this poem, Aunt Jennifer's Tiger. That is the poem name is Aunt Jennifer Tiger. In this poem, we can fi find out the theme of women and feminist. In reality, it is about a woman whose life has been limited by the patriarchal or the male-dominated society. Okay, in which she obviously lives in, in a kind of a patriarchal and a male-dominated society and who is always dominated by her husband or before marriage she was dominated by her father. Okay, but the poem does firmly suggest that Aunt Jennifer's Prospect in life have been limited by her marriage, you all know, which left her terrified in her worst times. Okay, he, she was very frightened by her husband and that made a kind of negativity within her. Okay, Aunt Jennifer Needlework allows her to experience a world of deep green forest and prancing brave and proud tigers. Art in this poem is a kind of freedom because the tigers is a symbol of bravery and fearlessness a freedom available to everyone this freedom of bravery and fearlessness is always available to everyone it is a right of everyone okay so we will be discussing the themes of this poem in details so first theme of the poem is feminism and abuse okay so Aunt Jennifer's marriage may be a physically abusive, okay, which is implied in a description of Aunt Jennifer as being terrified and she was in a kind of a trauma. Okay, she was always frightened by her husband. She was always panicking. Okay, Aunt Jennifer is unhappy in it, though she does not complain. She does not even complain to anybody. It was her niece that is at really rich that she noticed about her aunt okay as far as the speaker reports speaker means the narrator in the poem who reports okay however the terror of a marriage is always into all aspects of her life is always present in all aspects in her life okay the terror jo hai uske marriage mein jo terror hai wo hamesha uske life mein kahin na kahin present hai okay the skill and passion Aunt Jennifer pours into her creation speaks to the rich internal life of her female characters. The creation she is making, the art she is making, the stitching, the embroidery work she is making that reveals the inner characters of the female personalities of those times which is also present in the present time too. Because each and every female each and every girl or woman is suppressed by men pressurized by men because they are living in a kind of patriarchal society okay next we are coming to the second theme of the poem the second one is fear and fearlessness so in this theme the tigers are described as do not the line present in your poem do not fear the men beneath the tree. Okay. Miss what? The tigers are very brave and they are fearless. Okay. By contrast, Aunt Jennifer's life is all about fear on all sides. But Aunt Jennifer, who is making the tigers, she herself is very fearful. Okay. But at the same time, she is making a fearless tigers. The opposite characters. Okay. The art she is making the stitching she is doing okay it reveals a kind of opposite ca character that of the aunt she is described as a terrified and wigged down by the ordeals of her marriage she has been pressurized by her marriage she is very burdened with her unsuccessful marriage and she is also very burdened with the hard works she had done in her life okay the fear she feels is a tool to control her this is evidenced by the way her wedding ring wakes down her hand 
at all the time she feels that the her wedding ring is very heavy though it is very light in weight then also she feels that her wedding ring is too heavy for her and sh- that wedding ring is very is putting a kind of pressure a uh, putting a kind of very much weight on her thin fingers okay because she is burden in her life in her un uh, sorry in her married life in an unsuccessful marriage okay so this evidence by the way her wedding ring weighs down her hand at the, all the times okay uska hand jo hai wo hamesha wo ring ki wajah se bahut zyada heavy rehta hai she always feels that she is having a kind of some weight in her hand and that ring is very heavy for her okay so the tigers are example possibly a wish for a strength on jennifer does not feel she can do okay so these tigers which she has made okay these are the examples or the symbols of bravery uh, the bravery and the fearlessness exactly the contrasting character of the aunt jennifer because simultaneously aunt jennifer who is drawing oh, sorry who is teaching the tiger who is making the tigers as a art as an art she herself is very fearful lady she is always in a terrible state okay she is always trembling shaking because of her dominant husband and she is making a kind of a brave animal brave tiger and both the characters are very contrasting in nature okay means opposite in characters tiger and the aunt jennifer character okay next we are coming to the third theme of the poem the third theme is the power of the art the poem speaker connects to aunt jennifer through her art the speaker target at the tigers and understand aunt jennifer completely for having an admired them okay admired means bahut hi pasand karna okay to like them admire admiring someone is to liking someone okay admired means liking so the poem speaker means the obviously the poet okay connects aunt jennifer through her art she connect with her auntie through her art okay because in the whole poem aunt jennifer art has been described and what are the things related to her art has been described in the whole poem okay the speaker target are the tigers though the tigers are very brave and fearless and same time the, again aunt jennifer is making tigers who are very brave and fearless and she herself is very fearful lady okay so the tiger doesn't suits her character because it's a kind of a opposite character she is making on her art okay so the embroidered tigers bring another layer of symbolism because here tigers are acting as a symbols okay the tigers that have been embroidered they are a kind of another layer of symbolism because the tiger is acting as symbols which why the tigers is acting as symbols because through the tigers we can know that the willingness of aunt jennifer to become free and fearless the willingness of aunt jennifer to become free fearless to gain freedom okay the, this through the this concept of aunt jennifer we can learn through the tigers okay because obviously she is making tigers the tiger is symbolizing bravery and fearlessness only because she is also having a will she is also having a wish to be brave and free okay so as a theme as they are created through the needle point okay so the tigers is acting as so the tigers is acting as a kind of a uh, symbols okay so if in, if if in in your exam if any kind of questions are coming that what are the symbols used in the poem aunt jennifer so then you will say that main symbol in this poem is the tigers and what are the why the tiger is been symbolized because the tiger is acting as brave and fearless as the character reveals okay and through the tigers we can know the willingness or we can know the wish of the, our aunt of the aunt jennifer that she also want to become 
free as she was also want to become a kind of a brave lady but she can't the situation doesn't permits okay so next coming to the theme fourth theme is the family intimacy so in this theme we all know that the uncle who is the husband of aunt jennifer is a master of the household okay aunt jennifer is a quite wife terrified and mastered by her husband because she is always been frightened by her husband and she is very quiet she doesn't complain her problems to anyone okay while uncle and aunt jennifer play out a very patriarchal marriage patriarchal play out a very patriarchal marriage means what means in which uncle or her hus- husband is very dominating towards her okay so the rule of the pat- patriarchal marriage the rule of a patriarchal marriage is always maintained in their relationship or in their marriage okay most likely the speaker is their niece okay maybe the speaker who is the poet edwin rich most likely she is the niece of aunt jennifer okay and watches them and learns about their marriage and relationship between men and women in their society okay so why did the author oh sorry why not author why did the poet write this kind of poetry because she watches her auntie because she might be the niece of aunt jennifer okay so she watches her auntie the uh, disturbed relationship between her uncle and aunt provokes her very much and she wrote down in this kind of poetry so that she can tell the readers she can convey the readers what kind of mental pressure did the women went through in these patriarchal societies okay so the poem which requires is the speaker to observe not only aunt jennifer terror but also her very quiet moments can exist only in an intimate space of a family okay so the niece that is uh, adrenae rich who was maybe maybe we are not sure that maybe she was a niece of aunt jennifer adrenae rich she observes her auntie she observes her aunt very carefully she observes her daily routine okay and she observes her character as well as her personality and which and especially she observed that moment when she was very dominated by her husband when she was very terrified very frightened by her husband and that only means pushed her to write down this kind of poetry okay can exist only in intimate space of family because this kind of things don't comes out from our family we can't sh- see in outer world we can see this kind of things in our in a world means our in our houses okay so this kind of in situation can only happen in intimate space of family okay this further emphasizes the theme of the family the theme of the family is also been focused in this particular poetry okay the theme the inner feelings the inner struggles i must say the inner struggles a woman went through in her household life okay if especially if the if it is obvious if especially this that woman is a house my housewife then more struggles she faces because from each and every day she is staying in a home okay she don't goes out much okay so she can face the struggle much compared to a working lady okay next we come to the next theme of the poem that is the fifth theme the fifth theme is totally different is bit different is a kind of immortality why immortality just you can look upon it so it is really no surprise that the theme of immortality of life after death life after that okay it's reflected in aunt jennifer's tigers okay the speaker sees that tiger will continue prancing after aunt jennifer's death and thus aunt jennifer will be able to live on through her art even though aunt jennifer wall hanging might not be so famous she still gets to be immortal in her own way because it was mentioned in the poem after the aunt will die okay 
her tigers the tigers made by her okay will keep on prancing will live will be eternal the art will remain eternal okay because after her death after the death of aunt jennifer her tigers will keep on prancing and keep on moving proud and fearless and that is a kind of example of immortality when the aunt jennifer will die but the art made by her the tigers made by her will always be alive in form of her art because her art will be always present to the audience or to the readers or to the society maybe okay and though her art is not that much famous because she was not a kind of artist she was only a household lady that in her in her free time or in her leisure time she used to draw a kind of tigers or street tigers or street some other kind of embroidery okay she was not that much famous artist but though her art was not at all famous but after aunt jennifer's death she will after she will die her tigers which she met on a cloth panel that tigers will live forever that tiger will prance and move proudly proud and fearlessly they will be very proud they will be very fearless and move on very proud okay and that prancing and the moving of the tigers will be forever okay so that tigers will remain forever and that tigers will be a kind of a symbol of eternity okay so aunt jennifer to mar jayegi lekin wo jo tigers bana ke jayegi wo hamesha rahega theek hai bolne ka ye matlab hai aunt jennifer jo khud apne haath se tiger banayi hogi wo tigers hamesha rahega lekin aunt jennifer tab tak mar jayegi uska uska death ho jayega but the tiger will always keep on moving and prancing okay so that is why the theme is also of immortality okay the tone of the poem is very simple quiet and impersonal is very impersonal and it's a very simple simple and lucid tone okay so in this is done in this class i just only focused on the themes because it is very important because theme of poetry is very important okay you might obviously it's very sure that you might be getting questions in your boards uh, what are the themes of the poem any poem okay so theme of poetry is very important because it conveys us the inner meaning of the poetry as well as the concept of the poetry okay so focusing on theme is very much important for us so in this video lecture i just only focused on theme and just kind of tone it was that is very simple tone that poem is written yeah said in said in very simple tone the tone of the poet was very simple lucid and it was very kind of impersonal okay so we are done with the theme of the poetry it's not over yet few more topics from this poem are left that i'm going to continue in my next virtual class because too much of topics in one video will be a will make a kind of chaos in this particular video so i don't want to do that okay so few more topics are left that i am going to continue in my next virtual class okay next video lecture so students meet you in my next video lecture subscribe and share my channel thank you goodbye and take care